Is spending too much time in your home or office making you sick? Today, most Americans spend 90% of their time indoors. But many don't realize being indoors isn't good for their health. That's right. In fact, scientific research indicates that indoor air pollution is worse than outdoor air pollution, up to two to five times greater. And the EPA ranks indoor air quality as one of the top five threats to our health. In my experience testing hundreds of homes, indoor air quality is the most important thing that I ever look at for my clients. Uh, what is funny is that most people think about energy efficiency when they think about homes and performance, but air quality becomes a much bigger deal. They did a study in New Zealand and they found out that the effects on health of making homes better performing far outshadowed anything that had to do with energy efficiency. And so it becomes this central thing where we want to keep kids healthy, not have them have respiratory issues like asthma, um, you know, allergies, things like that. You might attribute it to things outside, but of course we spend a lot of time inside and it might be something in your home where you feel safest that's actually making you sick. There are many contaminants that can contribute to poor indoor air quality, both from indoor and outdoor sources. Some of the factors that I come across when I talk to homeowners and what they experience are outside air conditioning issues such as pollen, and then also we have the products that we bring into home, whether it's new furniture, whether it's carpeting, and we do whether and sometimes we do painting and remodeling around the home and we get those smells. That's so much like the new car that we buy, and we always talk about that experience of sitting in that car and those odors, when really we're sitting there we're just breathing in those volatile organic compounds, you know, that affect our health. A few innovative companies have taken positive steps to help reduce the risk of indoor air quality and provide clean air. One of the leaders is North American-based manufacturer Fantech, a system air company. They have designed and developed a fresh air appliance that can be installed to work efficiently with any HVAC system. It brings in uh, fresh air and takes out stale air. Uh, it balances the two systems, it preconditions the air coming in with the stale air going out. So you get fresh, balanced air into your home. When we look at a fresh air device like Fantech makes, the process of implementing it into a home, whether it's new construction or retrofit, is relatively simple. As an air conditioning HVAC contractor that understands ventilation, we can either retrofit that into an existing system or design it right into a new system for, to provide the fresh air and health that a family desires. So we're gonna open this up, how this works. Okay, so this is your basically your core, and these are your filters. Although balanced fresh air appliances are not a nationwide building standard, many homeowners and contractors alike have already begun to embrace the technology and utilize them in their building projects. The great news is this is not rocket science. Essentially, all you're trying to do is tune your house to work together because the home is a system. So if you can have houses that are being built more airtight, whether we like it or not, that's code in all 50 states over the next couple years, incorporate a fresh air appliance, then you get both. And actually that also, the fresh air appliances, are part of building code. And so you have to do it. You don't get a choice anymore. We are going to this next step. So when you are thinking about this, make sure that it's designed the right way, make sure that you have the right appliance going in, make sure that it's supplying the right amount of fresh air, taking the stale air out where it needs to be taken out, and your family will thank you because it'll be a healthier, safer home. To learn how you can improve the indoor air quality in your home or office, visit fantech.net. Or to watch this segment of the show again, visit our website, designingspaces.tv.